Hello, in this video I will sh uh, show you how to create Active Directory users by reading from the CSV file. Uh, in our previous video we created a user and so and then we created also Active Directory group and we assigned this user, we put this user into this uh, group, Active Directory group. So if I look at the uh, members of this group we have just this um, user. Okay, now uh, let's look at the CSV file. In this CSV file, uh, I only put five um, fields. Okay, a first name, username, uh, organization unit, pet, unit, department, and password. And so name is uh, mandatory for the um, creating the new user. And this will be the username that is the same account name in the PowerShell. And then uh, we created an organization unit to uh, we put that in that organization unit and this is the entire uh, OU path for this one and department actually the department could be like sales department marketing department and so on so I will just show you how to uh, assign the uh, these users based on their department uh, and then we simply we say if this is the name of the department uh, assign them into their uh, active directory group and password is just plain text but we will uh, encrypt that uh, and when creating the user now let's look at here uh, that is the uh, powershell ise and here we have so it is good to have here uh, because if the uh, active directory module not imported so this will uh, import to this module and then we have import csv command and path is the path this path and this returns the list of the users and we put them in this list or consider that as array and so for each iterates each uh, users each user in that uh, array okay so this doesn't have to be user this could be like uh, just uh, item element or whatever but because they are user so I just named that user and here we have new user uh, commandlet and then uh, we put I put this one uh, the tick um, I think it's called tick that is just below the escape key uh, so that because all of them is just one command so if I put in one line it would be too long and by using this I separate them in multiple lines and here we have name okay and then first name um, semi account name so this is the username and so on um, and then here account password we uh, get the password from the CSV file and then we convert it to a secure string actually we could also use uh, another variable so you could either have this one or for example let me show you um, I don't know let's say uh, username okay uh, so here I could say uh, dollar sign maybe just you name uh, equals this one um, user and then when I press period it shows me these five of them so you that would be username okay and then um, we have new add user so instead of for using this I could just use um, uname okay right here uh, uname all right and then uh, this creates the user and if I run it okay so let's see if it is created I go back to here and then refresh it so excellent so we have this one and this one uh, but if I look at the so if I double click on here member of okay so it is domain users however it is not a part of the AD group 2 okay um, so just because so if I look at um, where may it be maybe organization yes so department says AD group 2 but that doesn't mean that it is a part of the AD group too because we have to specifically add that okay so the department is just of the department so that doesn't mean that 
it is a part of the disk active directory group so let me close this and so let me just delete this um, okay delete yes and then delete okay yes so now let's let me go back to here and um, so here I will uh, after I create the users I will put them into their uh, respective group so I will say ad and then active directory group member so here uh, I say identity and the name of the group was um, what was it I think it was yeah ad group 2 okay ad group 2 and then uh, members so in this case actually we will uh, put one member because uh, we are still in the one iteration of the for loop so this will be the uh, this let me just do this okay and then the same account name is you name okay uh, you name okay and then uh, this will uh, add that and then it will uh, go to the next iteration let me run it okay so now let's see what happened so if I right click refresh okay so we have this and this and let's look at the members of this okay excellent so they are uh, assigned to this group so this is all and have a nice day